For many years now, people throughout Baldwin County have talked about the possibility of building a new Catholic high school here on this side of the bay. As we look across these fields today, many Catholic and community leaders are excited to say that this dream shows great promise of becoming a reality. Realizing the blessing of Catholic education, for many years the people of Baldwin Escambia Deanery have advocated for a Catholic high school in Baldwin County. The desire to have a Catholic high school in Baldwin County was repeatedly mentioned to me when I first arrived to serve as Archbishop in 2008. For this reason, in 2009, the Archdiocese of Mobile acquired the services of the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. to carefully examine the need for a Baldwin County Catholic High School. They concluded that approximately 250 to 400 students would enroll if a new Catholic high school was available. In 2010, the Institute of School and Parish Development was commissioned by the Archdiocese to conduct a financial feasibility study. The conclusion of this study was that $9.5 million could realistically be raised for the construction of a new Catholic high school in Baldwin County. The study also found that a number of people would be reluctant to contribute to a new high school because of two concerns. First, they wished to know the location of the school. And second, they did not feel that the Archdiocese Mobile was serious about a Baldwin County Catholic High School. In order to address these two concerns, the Archdiocese purchased 40 acres of land as the site for a new high school on Dick Higby Road near the intersection of highways 181 and 104. This purchase has addressed both of these concerns. Last year, a planning committee for a new high school was established. The members of the committee hired an architect and have worked diligently to design a high school mindful of the amount of money which can be realistically raised in a capital campaign. In summary, the need for a Catholic high school has been studied. A financial feasibility study has been conducted. Land has been purchased. An architect has been hired. And design has been completed. This is an historic moment for the church in the Baldwin Escambia Deanery. The years of hoping for a Catholic high school have brought this moment of decision. It is time to raise the money to build the school. Broad-based support has been voiced. This is the moment to make it happen, and it will happen only with your sacrificial financial support of this endeavor. The capital campaign for the construction of the Baldwin Catholic High School is now beginning. This is our future, our faith, our time. A lot of students now attend Catholic high schools in Mobile and Pensacola. The new Catholic high school will give the opportunity for more students to enjoy the Catholic experience. The other day I asked my daughter, who's a junior in a Catholic high school, what she thought were the benefits of a Catholic education. And she said, well, you're surrounded by good people. And I was asked, what is the value of a Catholic education? And I think really it's to fill the hole in our heart because children can be educated in many environments, but a Catholic education puts God in the center of every discipline. Because when God is in the center of every discipline, when God is at the center of a school, then God becomes the center of the young person. Over the past six months, we've worked closely with Archbishop Rohde, Superintendent Gwen Berg, and members of the Baldwin County High School Steering Committee to design facilities that will emphasize all areas of an outstanding Catholic high school education. Strong Catholic identity, quality academics, state-of-the-art technology, competitive athletic programs, functional extracurricular activity space, all built in an environment that will be conducive to developing a warm and welcoming faith community. Baldwin County is the fastest growing county by population in the state of Alabama. Um, and it's also the fastest growing 
population, uh, by Catholic population in the state of Alabama as well. Um, and having a Catholic high school in Baldwin County would uh, create an opportunity for our uh, Catholic elementary school students at Christ the King, St. Benedict's, and St. Patrick's to have a place to continue their Catholic education uh, throughout high school. It's important for Baldwin County to, ca to have a Catholic high school because there's a need for our young people to be formed in the ways of the faith, in the ways of the gospel. And this affords them an opportunity to have uh, not only a good education, but also good witnesses and role models in their teachers, in their coaches, in their administrators. We're really excited that the Catholic high school is coming over to Baldwin County. Mainly because of the community. We have chosen to start our lives over here in the Eastern Shore and we love it here. I'm confident that um, parents in uh, Baldwin County will support a Catholic high school because I've seen up close how much Catholic education means to them. Uh, we have uh, almost 500 children in Christ the King School and uh, parents really sacrifice to have their children in our school and they really wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, because Catholic education is a value that they embrace and that they cherish. And I know that they feel the same way about Catholic education in, at the high school level. It is with great pride that we are beginning a new chapter of Archdiocesan history in Baldwin County. St. Benedict's School in Alberta, Christ the King School in Daphne, and St. Patrick's School in Robertsdale have long served the Baldwin County Catholic community. They have not only educated our children with an excellent education, but they have guided them in their strong faith formation. It is now fitting that we continue their faith development by offering the opportunity for them to continue this growth right here in Baldwin County. Join me as we make this dream of a new high school a reality. Be a part in this new chapter in our Catholic community. As a member of the business community in Baldwin County, I'm very excited about the new high school project. I think that the students there are going to be highly prepared for the workforce. The children of this area in Baldwin County need to be formed and educated in their faith, in their Catholic faith, so that they can then go out and serve the world serve others and bring others closer to Christ. You know, we read in the Gospels, in the New Testament, that we are all one body in Christ. Many places in the Gospels it speaks of this, how Christ is the head and we are the body. Uh, we are one body with many parts. And whenever one part of the body is affected, the rest of the body benefits. And I, that's what I feel about Catholic education. The convenient location will allow the children from all over the county to continue their Catholic education. People will be invited to participate in the campaign in many different ways. There will be parish receptions, home visits, and individual conversations where you'll be given the opportunity to join us in support of the new Catholic high school in Baldwin County. The leadership of the Capitol Campaign and your pastors would like to take this opportunity to invite you to consider the gifts that you can offer to build this new Catholic high school for Baldwin County. We ask that you be receptive when someone calls and wants to visit with you or someone comes to your parish and brings your packet of information. I invite you con to consider the gift of prayer, the gift of involvement as a campaign ambassador and the gift of sacrificial financial participation to the construction of a new Catholic high school. Years from now, when our new Catholic high school has been built and is standing as a powerful beacon of quality Catholic education, people will ask who were the builders? Who were the shapers of this vision? Who made this happen? We pray that the answer will be you. What an opportunity all of us have to make a huge difference by continuing to build the kingdom of God.